episode of Quilt with the Stars is brought to you by Baby Lock for the love of sewing. Moda, make something with Moda fabrics. And Koala Cabinets, sewing furniture custom built in America. Welcome to Quilt with the Stars. I'm here with Adita Sitar. Welcome to Quilt with the Stars, Adita. Thank you for having me. This is the show and tell extravaganza that we're about to do and you have so many fans. Thank you. They love you. I mean they're just like <laughs> you, you inspire a great deal of fan adoration and we're gonna see why. Thank you. I'm gonna work hard next few minutes to make sure that you're on board with that and you'll exactly. become one oh, of my biggest fans. I'm there. I am there. I'm there and I have to Good. say that the camera Good. crew, this is a little insider information, the camera crew guys when we were, we were setting up and everything, they came over and they were like these are awesome. So you know if the camera crew guys, you guys, if, if they really like it, you're really oh, onto something. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. So, so let's begin. Let's begin. Tell me about this quilt over here on the wall. Uh, that one is made from my new collection called Over the Rainbow, mm -hmm. and it's our newest block of the month concept. Great. And what is so special about this quilt that uh, customers, quilters will be able to purchase a package of pre-cut silhouettes, mm. laser cut applique silhouettes. We're going to take a look at those in just yeah, a minute. Mm -hmm. With the fusible webbing on it and just find a perfect background and place your pieces in, pieces in place and applique. Fantastic. And yeah. that over the rainbows uh, from Moda. Moda's yes, doing that. Yes, it's Moda's fabrics. Great. It's uh, 40 new batiks. Mm -hmm in of the rainbow colors so Great. you have the blues and greens and reds and then you have 10 new backgrounds mm -hmm. to complement that and create a perfect canvas this uh, next one is also made yes. with over the rainbow yep. fabrics and of course it exhibits all of the things that you're known for that you do so beautifully Thank it's you. the batik blends the batik blending and uh, lots of florals lots of birds Thank Gorgeous. you. Where, uh, this one shows you the whole range of Over the Rainbow. You have every piece that come out in that collection in this particular quilt. Mm -hmm. The star right in the center and uh, this one called Spring Star. The one that we just looked at it called Spring Bouquet. So it's mm. everything inspired by the fresh showers in the yes. spring, the beautiful rainbow, birds and fresh blooms. I think nature inspires you quite a bit, doesn't it? Yes, I, it I does. I see that over yes, and over. It does. Uh, so these are, this is an example of the silhouette um, yes. The laser cuts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And speaking of nature, Mother Nature provides us with shapes every mm -hmm. season. And I do the same thing with my appliques. What I have for you is all the shapes that I use in appliques. Mm -hmm. You have all my branches and leaves. Mm -hmm. Then this is my fun shape. So you have that beautiful little right. bird. Oh, so all flowers. Flowers, yeah. petals, circles. That's all that I use in my appliques. These are the same shapes we see over yep. and over again in your work, yep. right? Great. And right here, we went step forward. Mm -hmm. and pre-cut them for you with uh, laser and fusible we uh, webbing already. Mm -hmm. And this is a smaller project from Over the Rainbow. So you Great. will have big project, but also a smaller project that quilters can enjoy it. Very nice. But if you like repeating the shapes, you can repeat them in 16 different yes. blocks, 16 Show. inches. Yeah, let's like dive in. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, it's like a book. We're going to be turning pages of quilts. Wonderful. So, yeah. so. so this one calls Sweet 16 Quilt and it has 16 different applique blocks. Wow. If you like larger blocks, this reaching out quilt provides you with that. And I put little four patches in between. And again, those are the same shapes. Mm -hmm. All of the same leaves sure. and branches. You will see it right here and here. If you need your pieces reversed, look how quickly I can reverse nice, them. Nice, very nice. Do you, you want me to reverse it? Yes, yes. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's yeah, so brilliant. It's really right. nice. You can start applying. And what I uh, would love mm -hmm. the quilters to do is create their own collage. Mm -hmm. of beautiful appliques. Mm -hmm. But if you don't want to do, just follow my lead. I'm here for you and I create many different applications. And you call that quilt reaching out? Yeah, this what? one is reaching out. Mm. The nature not only inspire me for traditional quilting mm. and applique, you will see uh, quite a few of my quilts that are raw edge applique. Mm -hmm. And I brought some to give a little new, uh, what's new in my sure, studio. Sure. Since we just experienced winter, mm -hmm. there, it's the inspiration for this one. It's over now, we can. You can find yeah. the most beauty in a simple snowflake. Absolutely. And this is all done with raw edge applique. Mm -hmm. Fall many times becomes a great Strange. inspiration Strange. from my quilts. Of course. Well, the colors of fall, it's a whole different yes. palette, isn't yeah. it? I mean, it's and just... you can do a larger project or you can go for a smaller one like the stable runner. Mm -hmm. If you, you know, that's an interesting yeah. shape. I've never, I haven't seen anyone 
Well, this is a Do kind it. of a signature shape for a lot of my table runners. I always angle two corners, opposite corners, so that's something that I like to do. Cool. And then maybe you love the tree outside wow. that it's holding Adita, onto that last minute. Wow, Adita, that is so leaves. groovy. Thank I you. I just have to say, I mean, that is really Thank you. This is one of uh, the batiks that I designed for Moda. And then also, if you want this quill to change a little bit the color, just imagine, put a blue in the background. Whoa. Branches with no leaves on it, and you have a winter scene with a touch of embroidery of white on the edges of the branches. This is so why can... people love you. This is one Thank of the you. reasons, because you're an artist, you're a designer, and that's who we talk to on Quilt with the Stars. But you have, you inspire, I mean, that's... You're very inspiring. Thank you so much. That's and you know, I didn't only bring you fall and a winter, I also brought you some spring. Spring too. Yes, yeah. this is called Spring Wagon and it has a lot of beautiful tulips in it. And just a simple scene. A beginner could do that. It's the same tulip over and over, just filled up a one uh, beautiful little wagon. And if, a, if there was a person who was new, a, a, a beginner to yeah. your, your whole aesthetic and, and what you do, uh, they would visit your website, correct? I would love them. In My that. website is uh, laundrybasketquilts.com and uh, you can see a lot of the quilts. We also have a blog where I constantly talk oh. about different projects and we also will have those leaves laser cut for you. If you don't want to nice. cut your own, we will pre-cut nice. them for you. Yeah, those are some and hard yeah. angles. Some people yeah. might like those laser cuts. You can fill up an old wheelbarrow full of uh, mm. the goodness of fall. And I, this is kind of another signature thing for me. I the tried to bird. put a little birdie in, in a lot of my quilts. That's lovely, yeah, little blue bluebirds of happiness. Yeah, he comes from uh, all the time to visit my backyard. You know me and scrappy quilts. I'm crazy about exchanging fabrics mm -hmm. and we did a little exchange with half square triangles and this is the quilt that I put it together. Is to, this one of your fabrics yeah. here? This is one of my fabrics. That it's is a from, fabulous batik. Thank you. It's from Indian Summer Collection. And remember, I designed printed fabrics to match batiks. Right. So this is from Indian Summer Collection as well. So you have that branches, the little bird, and that same kind of brown goes into the background in a batik. Before you, uh, you and I have to part ways, you know, mm -hmm. today, later on today, I want to ask you more about it. But before too long, I want to, I just want to point out that I think one of the things that you do and I want to know more about why you do it, but it's marrying batiks and prints. Like, Together. I don't think everybody can do that like you can do that. I think oh. that that is one of your signature effects, and I just see it in your work, and it's so brilliant, and I just don't Thank know you. if anybody else I can come up with right now off the top of my head that, that it so fearlessly blends batiks and, and prints Thank and you. so successfully. I just I sort of feel like batiks make one kind of quilt and prints yeah. make another kind, but you're just like, no, no. I'm gonna combine well, them. When I choose my fabrics, I allow all my babies to play together. Yeah. So I choose batiks, prints, I keep the same shades of colors, but I allow everything goes into one big scrappy panel, mm -hmm. cut out the square, cut the square to four triangles, and those triangles become a basket. It's Many working. times in scrap quilts, I like to anchor the craziness mm -hmm. by adding a one color that would hold it down. And of, of course, Again, the same applique this time end up to be in the top of the basket. Great. In spool quilts, scraps put together, batiks mm -hmm. and prints and Civil War, perfectly married in one quilt. Great. Cut a rectangle at the top and the bottom, a little bit of applique. Great. If you like spools, you're gonna wanna make a house. Mm -hmm. And in this case, I applique two windows, door, a roof to it, and I got my perfect farmhouse and since I live in Michigan we have a lot of apple trees, mm -hmm. pear trees, cherry trees so I create that applique for this quilt. This may be my favorite. Isn't it? I love this it. This is one of my favorites it. too. So that same scrappy panel, mm -hmm. this time instead of a rectangle or square, I cut a 60 degree diamond, made a little tumbling block, mm -hmm. sewed them into rows and then the fabric is the designer this time. It's fantastic. In, yeah. I, I have love loved it. making scrappy quilts mm -hmm. so much. I just finished creating a new book called yes. Scrappy Fireworks. Great. It's published by Landauer. We actually have a copy. Yes. First copy, copy, first copy. Yes. Very exciting. 19 new projects. 
And everything 19. in this book is based on strips and scraps that I have exchanged with my buddies, mm -hmm. with quilters all over the world, sending me fabrics and me sending back. So it's really one of the, the best parts about being a quilter yeah, is sharing, sharing, like sharing the fabric. Yeah. And Absolutely. then seeing what everybody does exactly. with it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So this one, and I also concentrate on eight point star in this quilt. And we've got the, the cover quilt that we're going to show you as the finale, but let's just look at a few more yeah. in the time that we have left before yeah. we show you that. We have some small projects, like uh, maybe low um, wall hanging. Mm -hmm. There is your first low star with mm -hmm. the touches of applique. And again, the same silhouettes work on those right. as work on all my other quilts. This pink, I have to Isn't see the whole cute? thing. Yeah, I love taking blocks, making them scrappy, and then find one fabric that holds the scrappiness together. That's so great. this is just a little baby quilt. Then we have strips sewn mm -hmm. together into a stamp quilt. Mm -hmm. Again, with my fabrics in the borders and right here in the center. Those are some of the batiks that I designed. You can take your scraps and create a variation of a log cabin. This one is probably yeah. the last one we can show and I want to really make sure we get it all out. I mean, each each block is unique. There's not. There's no two alike, is no. there? No, and it's all the leftovers of the leftovers. I put it into those, then took the strips, sewed mm. together to create this border. And yeah. there will be more other quilts to come for you guys to enjoy it and Absolutely see it. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, for our last yeah. quilt, let's take a look at the cover quilt for the next book, for the book that's coming out. And say that the title of the book again is? It's Scrappy Fireworks, and let's it comes out in May. It's absolutely gorgeous. May of 2012, that yes. will be available. And it's Landauer Books, yes. correct? Yeah. Okay. And uh, Edita, it's just, they sort of get more and more magnificent, Aww. like every single one. And you've, you're, you. you're prolific too, which is great. Quilters Thank who you. are quilting constantly always seem to find new things and experiment with new, with new things. And you do that. I just admire you a great deal. Thank you so much for having me. It's I appreciate it. I hope to visit again. You will. Thanks for watching. Bye. This episode of Quilt with the Stars is brought to you by Baby Lock for the love of sewing, Moda, make something with Moda fabrics, and Koala Cabinets, sewing furniture custom built in America. <laughs>